Can you fly the DJI Mini 3 Pro with the DJI Mini 2 remote controller? The answer is yes. You know, most people were concerned about the pricing of the DJI Mini 3 Pro because it was announced that the DJI Mini 3 Pro was going to come with the remote control with the own screen, uh, with the onboard screen on top. Now, this was going to be a hefty amount of money to pay for this new remote controller. But apparently, it is possible and yes, you can fly your DJI Mini 3 Pro with your old DJI Mini 2 controller. This is such a relief to a lot of people because you get to save a lot of money. Now, a few days ago, the DJI Mini 3 Pro leaked online with almost all the amazing features that we're expecting of the upgrade to the DJI Mini 2. So in this video, I'm just going to walk through some of those features and just talk a bit more about what to expect when uh, this amazing little drone, which DJI says will be under 250 grams, will be launched. So it's going to have active track and uh, it's going to have obstacle avoidance. That means that it's going to avoid obstacles at the front, uh, at the back and also at the bottom. So it doesn't have obstacle avoidance sensors on the sides. This you need to note. Now the active track is amazing because one of the things that it has is it has the advanced pilot system, you know, that enables it uh, to avoid obstacles in real time. That means that the drone can actually uh, avoid obstacles as it is flying. Now one thing you need to note about obstacle avoidance is that it only works in cinema mode and in normal mode. In speed mode it does not work because the drone at that point is flying too fast for you to avoid any obstacles. But just the same the advanced pilot system is a game changer because the, um, um, the drone is going to be able to avoid obstacles in real time as you are flying. Now it's going to have an amazing 1.3 inch CMOS sensor in the camera which means a, you know like bigger pictures and it's going to have uh, 4k uh, video footage uh, at uh, 60 frames per second so you get that amazing slow motion you know for those uh, cinematic uh, drone shots you know of landscapes and everything else now the other thing that I needed uh, to point out is that it has a more streamlined design and also comes with uh, larger propellers and uh, the beautiful thing too when it comes to the battery life it has been extended to 10 minutes more because the DJI Mini 2 used to go up to 24 minutes as far as the battery life was concerned but the DJI Mini 3 Pro is going to go to 34 minutes there is a possibility for you to extend the battery life even further to 47 minutes with a bigger battery but buying this bigger battery simply means that the drone is going to go over the 250 gram weight threshold which shouldn't really be a big deal because the drone is marketed as a below 250 gram drone uh, so that most people in the world uh, especially in third world countries can avoid uh, registering it you know avoid all the hassles that come with uh, you know um, drones that are over 250 grams One of the other things to, to note about this amazing drone is that it's going to come with the OcuSync 3.0 uh, transmission. This simply means that when you, no matter how uh, far you fly the drone away from you, you can still see the images on your phone or on the controller without loss in transmission. Now, if you have flown the DJI Mini 2 like me, Sometimes when you fly a bit further from you, you get a bit of static on the screen and then you have to bring it back nearer to you for you, you know, um, to get the transmission back. But unfortunately, but fortunately for the DJI Mini Pro, it's going to come with the OcuSign 3.0 and that means that no disturbance in, uh, no disturbance, um, in transmission and also it's going to come with vertical shooting so that means that now you have a chance to shoot vertically other than just you know uh horizontal one thing to note too is that this gimbal is a bit uh, more flexible than the one on the dji uh mini 2 so this means that you have 
a bit more room you know to point the gimbal to wherever you want it to go the other thing that you need to note that this drone is going to come with is going to come with a uh, uh, time lapse uh, of course a faster transfer like i said a panorama and a digital zoom you know that you can zoom in to get to objects and see them as clear as you can now when it comes to uh the fast track when it comes to the active track i need to mention a bit more because active track on the dji mini pro has uh three uh variations so the first one is the active track 4.0 the second one is the spotlight 2.0 and of course the third one is the point of interest 3.0 now when you get to set the active track on the drone you have all these amazing options for you to pick and you're going to be able to try this out uh, when you finally get your hands on the drone it also has uh, master shots now master shots is really uh, like uh, now master shots is a game changer because with master shots you can simply select your subject and then let the drone uh, create a video for you based on uh, you know um, uh, so with master shots you can let with master shots you can uh, select the subject maybe like a mountain or a river and then let the drone create a cinematic video for you that you can simply put some background music on and upload either to your youtube or your facebook or your instagram and uh, let uh, your viewers enjoy so that's what's up guys dji uh, mini 3 pro um, uh, details have leaked and uh, these are some of the things that you're going to be expecting in this groundbreaking uh, little drone now the other thing that people were worried about is the pricing because like i mentioned earlier uh, this drone is going to officially come with the new remote control with the onboard screen and uh, it's going to be a hefty price but even without uh, the new remote control even when you use the uh, ordinary uh, remote control that came with the DJI Mini 2 this drone will set you back uh, somewhere between 800 to 900 US dollars on the retail price so it's quite expensive but I think that with all these changes and the fact that DJI has managed to keep this amazing little drone below 250 grams is worth the money now I've been flying the DJI Mini 2 for close to six months now and it's an amazing little drone but I think that based on some of the features that the DJI Mini 3 Pro is going to have, I would be willing, you know, to actually sell my DJI Mini 2 and just uh, top up some money and get the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Hope Mukunte, Hope TV. Thanks for watching.